Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. We continue in this video to study more about the Quran. And today we will speak about what the Muslims call uh, the miracle of the moon. You know, many of us maybe heard the Muslims saying that Allah he split the moon from Muhammad and they even they post for you pictures uh, from NASA about a crack in the moon and they claim that this is how the moon is split, which is false because uh, the earth itself is full of those cracks. We call them valleys. And those are not splitting because if the moon is split, the earth itself will be destroyed. Uh, and at least, at least, a flooding will cover all the earth if such a thing happened in the time of Muhammad. But anyway, I'm not going to discuss this as a scientific, a scientific way. I'm going to expose uh, other fact about this chapter. Uh, in the video before this, I mentioned the following, and we will, we will summarize it again. In the video before this one, we showed you how many verses in the Quran people are still asking Muhammad to give uh, a miracle. As an example, chapter 2, verse number 118. You know, still those people asking Muhammad for giving a miracle. It says, uh, why Allah don't speak to us or why he don't come to us with a sign, come to us with a miracle. Sign in here mean miracle. So, and we showed you uh, from the you know the ranks of the verses like we know uh, the timing of the verses or the timing of the chapters when they are given according to that we showed you that in many chapters in the Quran uh, as we just showed you on the screen chapter number two which is in the book today number two but the fact it was chapter number 87 as the way it's given to Muhammad supposedly and the chapter of the moon uh, we find it here, you know, if we go down, we will find the following. This is the chapter of the moon. It is in the number in the book 54, in the chapter 54 in the book today. It was given to Muhammad as a chapter number 37 as Muslims, they claim themselves. So what I'm trying to say in here, we have two uh, location. We have the moon chapter. And we have, which is located as number 37, as it's given by Allah to Muhammad, according to Muhammad. And we have a chapter number 2, which is given number 87, and still people are asking Muhammad for a miracle. Don't get confused again for those who do not know what I'm talking about. The, the book today is organized in the way Uthman he wanted to be, not the way supposedly was given to Muhammad. The way Muhammad he gave in the Quran, it was different from the way the, the Muslims they have today today which is a corruption because the Quran says that those who change locations of uh, verses uh, they are the one who do corruption that is a corruption and the, the Quran by the way never been given as a chapter as you know but what the Muslims say is this is what they say we will go with it um, even the names Muhammad never names those chapters this way but anyway as long as the Muslims agree that as an example chapter of Al-Baqarah the cow chapter which is today in the book number it's number two in the book today it was given to muhammad as chapter number 87 uh, and then still we have the and uh, and we can show you like we showed you in the uh, video before uh, even in, in chapter number six chapter number seven many chapters all over the quran the muslims still asking him asking muhammad about giving a sign and still muhammad he never mentioned that i gave you a sign because if the moon splitting was a miracle really as the muslims they claim if that verse is speaking about a real physical splitting of the moon then muhammad he will say to them you idiot i just gave you the moon splitting he never said that he never mentioned it because simply it's never been about splitting the moon so it's about what let us show you what muhammad is talking about muhammad was nothing but a thief and he was filling up his Quran with uh, uh, poetry being stolen from other people, other writers, even th those who exist before him. And today we will speak only, we can show you tons, by the way, tons of verses. Muhammad, he stole from Arab poetry, exists before him. Uh, but today we will focus about the chapter of the moon. This is... Uh, uh, the poetry of a man, his name is Imr al-Qais, <clears throat> and he was a Christian person. He's a very famous 
a Christian man who, uh, you know, who have a very famous poetry. Uh, when we read his poetry, for sure, you know, for you, like you do not know Arabic, you will not know what you are seeing in front of you. The fact what we see in front of us is a disaster. It is a disaster. Because Muhammad, what he did, he stole from this man. You see all those have lines under them? Those are Muhammad he stole from this man. Imagine. And I, I found this page actually because the, the, like uh, this page making the, the poetry in front of me in one uh, uh, like uh, one after one, so we can go and check it out. Now, what is the first line in this chapter or in this poetry? Guess what? It's exactly as it is in the Quran in the first chapter of the moon. That is Sa'a. Let us copy this and post it in the search engine for the Quran and see what we will find. And by the way, just to show Muslims, here we go. This is your Islamic website, islamweb.net. I'm going to quote the poetry even from there. Here we go. Copy. And we go to the Quran, paste. <laughs> you see it? Copy, paste. Exactly. You see the search? Exact, exact phrase, exact sentence. It's exactly as it is Muhammad, he took it from the poetry. Now the Muslim, they say to us, who can make Quran like this Quran? And the man, Muhammad himself, his God, is stealing. Like Allah could not make a better sentence, better than this guy, better than this Christian guy who is making his own poetry. And he was not talking about the moon, actually. He was talking about his, a girl he is in love with. When he saw her, he says, oh, the judgment day come and the moon is split. What, what the moon is talking about, it's been the moon, the girl she saw. She is his moon. Her light, you know, so it's a poetry about love, about, you know, Muhammad, he took it and he put it in his Quran. So the first chapter, which is speaking about the moon splitting, have nothing to do with the moon, have nothing to do with the, with the splitting of the moon, have nothing to do with science, have nothing to do even with the Quran. It was a theft. Muhammad, he stole it from this man. We continue because the disaster is not over here. We want to see. How many verses Muhammad he took just from this man poetry alone? How many? And let us see. And as you see, I am copying from the Islamic website. I'm not. I'm not the one. Is uh, I can copy. There's many uh, verses, but I'm, I'm going to copy only from the Moon chapter for now. Here we go. Copy. As you see, witness my with me. Paste. Oh, oh. exactly as it is exactly as it is with the tashkil with the you know tashkil it's uh, like the, the those verbs we add in the top of the arabic etc which mean even the sound it's exactly the same uh, by the way at that time there was no such a thing you know this is something new like the 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 verbs it, they they've been added long after that but this is me telling you that it's exactly the same even the sound even the way you pronounce the words nothing changed the word the letters one by one Copy, paste. We click at this verse to see what it is saying. He put it, the Muslims, they put it in different verse now. They put it in Surah Az Zalzala, the chapter of Az Zalzala, chapter number 8 at 99. Now, uh, you know, why Muhammad is taking from this man and making it, uh, and you notice he is making it as a start for his revelation. Because the verse before was number one verse for the, the chapter of the moon. This one is number one for the chapter number 99. We will take now another uh, part of the poetry. And, uh, and be, 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 you know, uh, look what I mean here. I am copying from the Muslim website. You see, this is a Muslim website again. Uh, I will copy the second part. وَأَخْرَجَتَ الْأَرْضِ أَثْقَالَهَا 
إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها and we will see if we can find the second part already we found the first part it's verse number one let us see where we can find the verse number or the part number two of the poetry search again here we go paste search uh oh it is verse number two in the same chapter look with me which means muhammad not only he stole the first verse from that poetry we have now two verses from that poetry verse number one as we see and verse number two and it is copy word by word letter by letter no different whatsoever which means the thief he did not even maybe have time to make a different like muhammad never thought about it that people and 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 even the daughter of uh, Amr al Qais, she said to Aisha because she was alive at that time, you know, uh, she said to uh, uh, Aisha, but this is the poetry of my father. You know, this is not Quran. This is my father poetry. Your husband told you that this is from his God. <laughs> Let us continue. Let us see how many. How many verses in the Quran he stole just from this man poetry, this man alone? Because we can show you tons, by the way. But I'm going to show you just from this man alone now how many Muhammad he stole. And before, by the way, before I continue, you will see that even the meaning of the chapter, it's exactly what the poetry is talking about. You know, that the earth is going to be having earthquake, huh? and the earth is going to bring out what people what what is inside the earth and the muslims by the way uh, you will see harun yahya he's making this is about a miracle this is about volcano according to harun yahya how allah he know which is very funny everybody know volcano you know thousands of years ago everybody knows volcanoes uh, and the, the the human being he said what what what's wrong with it then is going to tell the news that allah he is the one who ordered it and uh, then uh, you know uh, the, the people will be gathered and the one who did good is going to see it, and the one who did bad is going to see it. If we go to the poetry in Arabic, it's exactly saying the same. It's exactly saying the same. Is zilzalat al ardu zilzalaha wa akhrajat al ardu athqalaha taqum al anam ala rasuliha liyom al hisab tarahaluha yuhasibha malik adil fa imma alaiha wa imma malaha. It's exactly the same meaning. That day when the earth is going, and by the way, he is he's, he's taking this from the Bible. This guy, because he's a Christian, he is speaking about what the Bible is saying. That when the judgment day is going to be, uh, uh, disasters, earthquake will happen, etc. And then the Lord is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, is going to question everybody. Is going to gather Ooh, everybody, and is Bible going, stick. and is going to question uh, uh, you in the judgment day. For what you did in your life and the one who did good is going to, to to give him good and the one who did bad he will give him bad it's exactly what the poetry says this is muhammad took it he kept the first two lines and then he played with the other four after to make a change in it it's a very clear you know like if we if we take this uh poetry and we take it to google translation and we compare it because maybe some will say maybe he is not saying exactly what it is if we copy and paste you know look it's exactly the same mean of the quran even though like uh, google is not giving really perfect translation but it's exactly the, the word by word so the first two, one, or the, the whole line, the first line of the poetry is taken exactly as it is. Muhammad, he put in the Quran and he make it as a Quran from his book. Now we don't have much time. It's uh, time is up. Uh, follow with me with more videos, guys, to expose the thief Muhammad and the claim of Muslims that Quran is full of miracles. It is nothing but a full of theft and Muhammad is nothing but a thief. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. See you with more videos.